Hello YouTube travelers and welcome back to another video from the Gentleman of Fortune channel. Today we're in Dubai's International Airport and we'll be taking a look at the first class transit experience. As a first class passenger, you'll deplane first and be met on the jet bridge by an attendant who will escort you through security to the lounge. After a brief walk through the terminal, you'll be met by a buggy like this which will take you the majority of the way to the lounge. After clearing screening, you'll travel upstairs past the transit level to the lounge level. Whereas you used to turn right at the top of the escalator, you'll now turn left past the business class lounge and follow the signs for the area commandeered for first class passengers. As there are a lot fewer A380 flights these days, the first thing you'll likely want to do is take a shower. Shower rooms are available by passing through the partition into the business class lounge. The shower rooms themselves are quite basic, but they get the job done. Now refreshed, we can take a look at the food and beverage options for first class passengers. A full bar and cocktail selection is available. As far as dining is concerned, you can avail yourself of the a la carte options, or if it suits you better, there's pre-plated sushi available for grab and go. Emirates appears to have a collaboration with Moet and Chandon Champagne, and they prominently feature several of their offerings. Now here is a look at the lounge menu options, which are accessed by scanning the QR codes at the table. In addition to the menu items which I sampled and will show you in the next section of the video, I also tried the grilled Wagyu burger. Unfortunately, I forgot to take a picture or video it. The only notable thing about this dish was that you couldn't specify how you wanted it cooked. They insisted on cooking it longer than necessary and in my opinion ruined the flavor. Here's a look at the avocado and salmon toast. The breakfast table is set with a full complement of pastries, jams, jellies, and butter. And now here's the burrata, which was quite a bit larger than I was anticipating. At a different seating, I had the prawn cocktail. As mentioned previously, they were featuring the Moe and Chandon, and seemed especially pleased to be presenting the 2012 Grand Vintage. If none of the menu items suit your fancy, or you just need an excuse to stretch your legs, you can peruse the offerings in the business class lounge, most of which are served from a buffet station. You'll find that where available, most of the items are prepackaged, although the hot dishes are served by the staff. One thing that is certain is that you won't starve during your layover. And now here's a look at the hot food options. The length of my layover in Dubai was a bit awkward, much longer than necessary, but regrettably too short to warrant a hotel. As such, I was directed towards some relaxation areas, but as you can see, they don't afford much privacy. And as they're situated just above the main concourse duty-free shops, there's a constant din. Other services available in the lounge include a massage, which unfortunately I didn't take advantage of, as well as a shoe shine service. It's regrettable that Emirates first class passengers can't enjoy the true lounge experience. However, much like their in-flight service, I think they're doing a much better job than most carriers today. I hope you found some utility in this video, and until the next one, safe travels.